Peace and greetings, everyone. We're going to be doing a quick uh, review of some new products I've just been getting <clears throat> from uh, Raidshare. Uh, so the first one we're going to be doing is uh, pretty cool, pretty tiny guy. And I already have some uh, code that I'm developing for it. Um, but let's take a closer look and see this ESP32-S3 with a cool little LCD attached to it. So here it is. currently have it plugged into my phone. Here's some code that I'm uh, working on, pretty much uh, converting a previous project to the smaller screen. But as you can see with the uh, boot button, I actually made it a normal button. But yeah, this is a um, pretty cool board. It's the 1.47 inch display. So that's 172 by 320 uh, pixels. And it has uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, really cool uh, RGB light. I currently don't have it uh, enabled, but there is an RGB light that <clears throat> looks really nice on there. Um, but yeah, it controls uh, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, um, Bluetooth uh, as well. So as you can see here, I have it scanning for uh, Wi-Fi. also have a Bluetooth uh, scanner too. So it uh, easily picks up all nearby uh, connections. And the screen looks really good too. Really nice uh, color on the screen. Um, but some other tech specs, uh, there's also 16 megabytes of flash on this um, and eight megabytes of PS RAM. And uh, the color screen is really good, 262,000 color on there and then there's also quite a lot of um, development options too it's a lot of uh, input output pins which I'm going to uh, show you how to do that because it is a little bit more advanced because um, the board for sure is attached to here so you got to be uh, really careful I have uh, one method I'm going to try and that's, uh, I'm going to have a set of these in here. So as you can see, you got to be really um, good with soldering because you don't have too much room there. And then I'll have some uh, female header pins I'll connect, kind of similar to that. Because <clears throat> then I can... Um, attach a board, you know, an extra uh, development board or something to that as well. And then if you go to their uh, site on Reefshare, you can see that's what the uh, LGB looks like. And then you could use uh, different libraries, the LVGL, and it will get you um, <clears throat> some really cool lights. So you could see they made a Nixie clock uh, with these um, boards. So another cool thing you could do with that as well. And now you can see there's uh, tons of pins uh, to use. So quite a few projects that I'm gonna do. So really anything you do with the um, normal ESP32s. Uh, you could also do with this as well. And with some uh, vibe coding and some AI coding, um, we'll put together some really cool uh, projects. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of uh, information if you need it uh, from Waveshare. And um, yeah, it's been really uh, helpful. And as you can see, um, really reasonably priced. Because uh, if you were to get this LCD separately, and um, then you would need to have a custom ESPS3 board, it uh, would cost you definitely a lot more than uh, $13. Yeah, but overall, I'm going to be doing a lot more projects. Um, I really uh, dig the size. I also have another one of these um, that doesn't have the USB uh, dongle part. This is also a work in progress uh, with this packet monitor, but I'm slowly getting the hang of the code.
But um, yeah, we're getting there. Just need to make the uh, thing look a little better. Yeah, but I highly recommend um, this cool little screen and microcontroller from uh, Waveshare. And we're gonna be going through uh, some projects and hopefully I'll put up some code too. And I'll show you how um, through my own skills and through um, some AI coding, um, we really can do some advanced uh, technical projects with uh, some of these devices, which I know a lot of people are kind of scared to kind of jump into, um, but show you how you could really utilize these now, um, especially with AI development. So stay tuned for that. And um, I'll be excited to share some more products and projects. Peace.